All right, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna try this. So the trailer's here. I'm gonna move it with this, the regular dolly. Show you what a pain in the rear that is. So let's get a little square, come on. So I'm gonna make this square here. I've gotta land it back in. make this relatively easy on me. Let's put the other square right here. Let's see if I can land it in there. So this is gonna, this is gonna hurt. I'm gonna tell you right now. So one of the problems with this wheel is that it doesn't turn very well. And so what do you have to do? So I have to get it turned. See, because it marks up the driveway and everything. Actually, I'm going to need to raise it up a little bit. A gosh darn nightmare. Jeez. You can see the, the big problem why I wanted this thing. We'll see how it does, but you end up marking the crap out of the driveway or, you know, whatever surface you're on. All right, so we're almost in place. I'm thinking I don't want to try to put this back. Ugh. All right, we're in. That's as close as I'm gonna get. All right, so we're in the square. Sorry. So now, let's try to put it back. So now, obviously, the wheel has to spin around, which is a pain in the rear.
Jeez. Ugh. So, you know, obviously another way to do this would be to back it in. And clearly I could have done that here, but you know, I wanted to show you why I bought a fricking trailer dolly that hopefully it's a lot easier. <clears throat> clearly in the grass. Well, I think we're in the right direction. All right, let's see if we can get this thing in the spot. All right, so we're back in place. Okay, let me put the wheel chalk on this thing. We're sort of in place because I'm not exactly not exactly in the right spot. Because the wheels, oh come on, the wheels are in the grass. So let me go get the Park 360 and let's, let's try it with that. All right, so I have it in free wielding mode. I don't know how charged the battery is. This is a brand new battery is only charged for like an hour, but we'll see. So. Let's move this thing up a little bit. You gonna sit here with me? Yeah. All right, so let's get the key so we can unlock the, unlock the hitch lock. Notice I'm pouring in sweat. Part of it is I just got back from the gym, but man, pushing this thing around is a nightmare. All right, so we have to watch the welds. So I want to make sure that's not hitting. Are you sweaty? I'm sweaty? Yeah. <laughs> Why you back? Why you, Why you do your workout? I'm doing my workout? Yeah. All right, sit, sit over here so I can fit. Okay. You like this? Yeah, I like it too. All right, it'll, it'll sit down in there. So let's turn this. We take it out of freewheeling mode, so now we lock it. stuck on there. That's why we need to worry about the welds. I have to go get a darn sledgehammer. Let's see, how does this thing need to go? Okay, I see. So in order to make sure it comes off properly, the welds have to be, they have to be kind of at an angle. Okay, there's the one little clean little spot where it has to sit because if not, these things get hung up. Let's try this again. I'm not sure why, I mean, there's gotta be some reason why, but why, why you make a ball that has freaking holes or big things that stick out the side of it? There's gotta be some reason. But man, it makes it so much harder. It has to line up perfectly. Otherwise, it's not going to come off right. And this needs to go on. 
Let me see. Is it righty tighty or lefty loosey? Let's see, I don't have this locked on, so that's not good. So I'm gonna have to figure that out. Okay, we're on. Now, put this all the way up. So this is one of those things, I always end up making these videos. And the first one, the first time you do something takes forever. So it makes me look like an idiot. So there's our trailer brake. Let's get the wheel chalk out of here. I think it's supposed to be hitting the ground like that. It isn't hitting the ground. I thought it was dragging. Nope. Perfect. Why is this so soft? Wow, this is great, people. A whole lot better than sweating my balls off trying to do this. So let's see. Hey, Katie, about what you doing? Watch where I fast. Let's watch. Watch. Where am I fast? You're fast. Whoa, you're fast. Holy cow, Katie Bell. We got a pretty decent little grade going on here. Bingo. Actually, once I, once I learn how to operate this thing, that's way better. So we're back in our circle. Sweet. So I'll let it cool off for a second here. It says, and it's probably precautionary, but not to run it for more than five minutes. Uh-oh, my little clippy thing. to hit it. I sweat all over it. Um, you know it's it's uh, you know it's just a little electric motor so the thing you know is gonna run slower but then than me pushing it but I mean the effort and you know I'm not usually gonna move it this far you know it'll normally I'll back it right right to where it needs to go and then just that last little step. Um, the other thing I noticed is that my my little 
dolly thing hits the tire if I turn it too aggressive at an angle. So I just need to walk it, you know, to get it into place. But man, this thing's cool. All right, so let's uh, let's move it back. I think the key is not to fight it, just to let it do the work. I was fighting it in the beginning there. Here, Rye, you want to try it? What? You want to try it? Okay. All right. Which way do I do it? Push it, push it up. Push it that way or that way? Just, just turn the button on. Yeah. It's so easy a six-year-old can do it. <laughs> Disinterested that quickly. So, you know, us being on this little grade here was a nightmare pushing it. But with this sucker, I'm good to go. So in other words, I'm not doing anything. I'm doing all the work. And I missed the mark. There you go. So I don't think I'm really saving any time here, but I'm saving a lot of energy and effort and then precision. I'm gonna be, it's gonna be a lot easier to park it where I wanna park it and put it where I wanna put it. And then I'm not gonna scratch up the ground wherever I'm at. So, mission accomplished. So the great thing about it, I'll be able to put my trailer in the new, I'm gonna call it uh, HQ, new headquarters. And be able to put this thing wherever I want. So let's see if I got those welds in the right spot, if I can get it off. Um, it probably needs to have weight on it to do that. I'm sure when the guys from Park 360 watch this back, they tell me what I'm doing right and wrong. It seems like I'm not doing this right. Well, I guess I am. Like I was saying earlier in the video, I need to start doing this, making the video the second time around. Uh-oh. There we go. The second time I use it. Nice rather than the first try. There you go, so we just have to get the welds in the right spot. All right, so I'll capture some more footage of this in the morning or tomorrow when I take this over to the uh, to, to new uh, OGHQ. So let me plug this thing in so the battery tender gets, gets charged up. All right, let's get this thing off. Got to figure out the trailer because the darn, or to figure out the Raptor. It must be a fuse blown or something because the lights don't work on the trailer. All right, let's move this. The only trick with this thing is it weighs a freaking ton. Obsessed garage. There's Mr. Obsession himself. How you doing? Good. Got to get my darn trailer out of my driveway. Check this thing out. I got my uh, oh, park, your, a fancy dolly. Yeah, we're gonna see how it works. <laughs> because my uh, trailer backing skills aren't so great. <laughs> You'll see. I'm an expert at this. I'm an expert at being a loner. Yeah. 
It's a little heavy. This is a bad idea doing this before work. I'm freaking sweating. See if I can do this more efficiently now since I've done it once. So, you know, again, once you get this figured out, super easy. Hopefully I can tuck this thing. Yeah, I don't know, we'll see. this place is. It looks like I'm gonna have enough room to sneak by a car. I tuck this all the way up. Still got a few feet. Put the GT350 in here and then wash my hands. All right, so despite my goofy struggles, you know, again, I want to make these videos. I should probably try it a few times and then make it uh, so it's it's not an accurate representation of how simple the product is to use it's a you know combination of my uh, stupidity and then the you know the trial and error aspect of you know figuring things out and so my guess is you know I'll use this thing you know three four more times and i'll have it you know i'll have a system down um, but the operation of it's fantastic i mean i i would have it would have taken me so much more effort uh, again if i had this thing figured out it would have taken a lot less effort to get this thing in here it would have taken you know 10 minutes 15 minutes Good, good, uh, good product. Uh, there's nothing else like it in the world. Uh, do a few little zip ties to clean it up. Uh, I'll probably wipe it down uh, after getting it all sweaty and greasy. Um, my trailer's here in the, you know, in the garage location. Uh, it looks like uh, I'm not going to be able to put as much in here as I think I am. You know, as soon as you put two cars in a trailer, the thing's full. Uh, so my guess is I'll end up renting another place for the darn trailer. <laughs> we'll see. Uh, anyway, thanks for watching and uh, stay tuned for more crazy. So what happens when the when the force pulls you back, your foot naturally comes off the gas. You have to keep your foot to the floor. The floor. The floor.